hello friends in this video we are going to talk quickly about what is decidua decidua endometrium and what is the difference between them this is is a very very confusing topic so if we talk about how a endometrium converts into a decidua whenever there is a pregnancy or whenever there is a implantation the embryo starts secreting hcg and this hcg will go to the ovary to the corpus luteum and will start secreting progesterone so the progesteronized endometrium is called decidua and there are three parts of decidua if you see here then this is the endometrium this is the pregnancy implanted the normal endometrium which is not related to this uh, site of pregnancy is called decidua parietalis the endometrium at the base of pregnancy is called decidua basalis at the base of and the decidua which covers or capsules the pregnancy growing pregnancy it is called decidua capsularis with the growth of pregnancy both of this decidua parietalis and decidua capsularis comes nearer and nearer and at one time they fuse and the fusion happens at around 14 to 16 weeks of pregnancy and they they are called decidua vera so this is fine for you this is called decidua whenever there is a ectopic pregnancy then also we know that the progesterone will be there hcg will be there then also the endometrium becomes into decidua but at that time the decidua is of decidua parietalis there are no decidua basalis or capsularis because the pregnancy is not into the uterus and whenever there is the abortion of this pregnancy this decidual uh, decidua will get degenerated and get out from uh, the uterus with the menses sometimes the all this kind of decidua comes out which is a cast of uterus this is called decidual cast which is there in this decidual cast is there in the abortion early abortion of ectopic pregnancy so this is all about decidua thank you